Interesting news, South Korea has decided to ban Iranian oil because it can no longer be insured. As of July 1st, South Korea will be participating in the U.S.-NATO sanctions against Iran, refusing to purchase their oil. The insurance ban, which is the real ban, is part of a series of measures taken by the EU and the U.S. in order to hurt uh, Iran's oil exports. The EU will ban providing insurance related to Iranian oil imports, because of which we cannot get the insurance provided by the European insurance companies. Now it is actually true that the European Union does provide the overwhelming majority of the insurance uh, for oil exports. Still kind of laughable. There are other people that you can, you can go to. Meaning, the oil isn't really banned. It's the insuring the shipment that's banned, which makes transporting oil extremely dangerous and extraordinarily costly if something goes wrong. Now, this is especially risky given that the U.S. does have a history of carrying out false flag operations. If by some miracle South Korea did decide to defy the U.S. in its order to uh, ban Iranian oil, you could guess there would probably be a pretty big false flag attack on one of those shipments as a way of either punishing them and or making a statement to the rest of the world, or most probably both. Now, many Asian countries are highly dependent on Iranian oil, so they're really in a bind here. They will have to take it without insurance or at least the inadequate coverage. Now, India said that they are going to keep using Iranian oil. However, they're asking that shipment and insurance be placed on Iran in order to get to them. And China has also asked for the same. Two countries that are dependent on it, and China is a, is a big trading partner with Iran. So, and they're not too fond of NATO and the U.S. imperialism in the region. Uh, now, they are asking for insurance, and as I reported in April, China has already been sending uh, super tankers to Iran. Iran has ordered them from them, and China has obviously manufactured them and began sending them uh, back in April, which means they certainly did foresee this situation coming. So at least Iran will have its own tankers and won't have to rely on others and insurance on those tankers. They will have their own and place insurance on their own in order to do so. Now, meanwhile, in Japan, they will provide sovereign guarantees for Iranian shipments, Reuters says in its report, although they've not made that very clear on exactly what sovereign guarantees actually are, which seems to suggest that Japan will continue to use Iranian oil. Now, I think it's very funny, uh, South Korea saying, we are not going to take Iranian oil. After all, South Korea is about the single most blatant puppet of U.S. imperialism there is on the entire planet. So having them say, we're not going to take it, it's like, hi, we really expected you to do it. We really didn't expect you to defy the U.S. You are their most blatant puppet, as I said. This is not shocking or some big news to be announced in any way. However, it is still news that does need to be announced, and it's also important to understand that China did foresee this, or at least Iran foresaw this coming, and they, again, uh, I mean, back in May, began, pardon me, back in April, started getting uh, super tankers from, Ch from China in order to take care of this. However, all of this is still predicated on the idea that Iran is creating nuclear weapons, something that has yet to show any evidence to being true.